Okay, hello guys. Yeah. Uh, I got a small head here. It's actually a pretty big one. From my old engine from 1972, I believe. Yeah, the valves were well, it didn't have any compression compression at all. Nothing. So I decided to took it to take it apart and uh, just clean it. Uh, the valves. A lot of the times the valves kind of won't close. Good. If you have debris in here, I'll just film it with a different camera. Okay. So here we have the valve seat. If I'm just getting it to focus. Hard, ain't it? So we have the valve itself, and you see the ring. That needs to seat properly into the valve seat, of course. It's just how it works. If there's any debris between it, or it's scored, or anything like that, air could escape there and just won't have a good compression. It's just not good. So you would have to clean it. And now you clean it, well, you can just leave it in and just try to get rid of the coarse pieces or everything. But some, well, it will work, but sometimes you really have to re-lap the valves. And the lapping, we will do that with some valve lapping paste. So it's just really fine, really fine, well, beads, kind of, uh, yeah. You stay grind a little bit of material away, so it seats properly again. So you get rid of the yeah impurities that it uh, yeah. so it will seat good again and just seal the right way. So yeah, let me just show you how to get the valve out. Yeah, and the clip you probably won't really see. I zoom it in, as you can see the clip, but there are two pieces in there, and I'll show you that later. Okay, so let's take it out. This is one of those universal valve removers. They kind of use these things with cars, and well, everything with the four stroke really. It's universal, so as long as it fits. It won't always fit perfectly, but most of the times it fits. So one side goes on the valve itself. And the lighting isn't too good. Yeah, it's a shame. It's one side. Uh, the other side just goes over the valve. You can see it a bit. Uh, kind of. This goes over the valve and you just screw it in. Get a small lever with it and just turn it in. You don't really have to go that far, but these are pretty weak springs. I'm just going to film it with another camera. Okay, so. We have the help there, and I will film quickly here now. So that's one of the clips. And they are sitting right in there. We already cut the other one out, did I? Probably. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah. So just get those two out, and then you can turn it loose, and then they'll just slide out. Okay, so just loosen it up. Mm. Okay. It's not out yet. Yeah, of 
course you can see. No, you can't. There you go. So you can just get it out. Just the other one. I believe my sister's coming home, but well. Just loosen it. Again. Yeah, it's my sister. Like that. So then you can pick out the valve spring and take out the valve. Just like that. So it isn't really that hard at all. But as you already could see, there's some pieces falling out, and that's why it wasn't sealing properly. That's why I had some bad compression. I'm going to show you the clips I meant. With my other camera. Okay. So, this is spring. These are the valves. And these clips just sit in there. Like that, on both sides. So when they're in here, I'll just put it around it. Of course, one end as well. Like that. It's going to it slides just up there. And because it can move outward, it won't go out of there. So that's why it stays in there. But when you move it down, it frees. So then you can get it out. So most of the valves are attached this way, at least for my GY6, I'm sure. I know that, so that's good. Okay. Uh, the GY6 engine, most of them have two springs, most of them, but that kind of depends on the manufacturer, brand, and all those kind of types since a lot of GY6 cases exist. Okay, so yeah. So now I'm going to clean the head a bit more. Okay, what do we need to clean the head itself? Okay. One of the simple steel wool pads, pillow pads they're called here. Good stuff. So just steel wool with some abrasive on it. Some good very good degreaser cleaning of a cleaning cleaner something like that I just want to spray it in just let, let it soak a bit uh, the bougie itself the spark plug yeah I'm just gonna replace that I'm not even gonna bother with it but the wrench for that is downstairs so I'll get that later Zoom in a bit more, yes. Yeah, my tripod is a bit high for this, but well. Should stop leaking. Okay, so I just want to clean it all off a bit. And you'll see, if you have a dirty head, it just really cleans it up. I also have some photos of my uh, scooter where the valves also were a bit uh, dirty I didn't film that one, that would be a better well, representation of a GY6 because of it, it is a GY6 but yeah so one thing you want to do is clean, clean that off but the valve seats good and clean that's the most important thing
Okay, so when you're done with that, just rinse it off. Maybe it doesn't need to be perfectly clean, but it is nice to have it clean, of course. The valves itself. Uh, you have those steel wool pads. Uh, this is a pad, but there are different kinds of steel pads. Those are called scotch brights. And those ones are really ideal for just cleaning the valves. So just need to put a drill on here and just turn it with the scotch brite on it and it will clean it kind of perfectly. So you could polish it, but we're not going to go in the high performance part. And I think I'm gonna look if I can pour the head on the GY6. Just get some better flow. You can see here this one, yeah, it really got big ports. Big valves, big ports. That was the water washer. Oh, it's from down there. Okay. So that washer is down to the valve seat. Yeah, it's the first time I opened this one. So, yeah. Okay, so now just clean the valves. Okay, so when you're done cleaning the valves on the head, it is cleaner but not the cleanest. But I'm not going to spend too much time on this thing, since it, since it won't run up, well long, I don't need it to. Okay, so when you relap the valves, you nothing, well, you not else doing, just put a, a switch of the grinding compound. That's basically what it is. And we put it a bit on there, and you're just going to put them in the valve seat, just to turn it, and yeah, of course this one is really hard to turn, you can't get near it. You have those suction skips for it, but yeah. Oh yeah, it's annoying. Just keep it turning until the, you see some discoloration and then it should be fine. Okay, so when you had, you grind it a lot up there, well not a lot, just a bit, it kind of depends, when you put both valves in, and it isn't leaking, then it's oh, good, so I'll just give it a try, just like that. Easier to see it from uh, if you put it in the intake, but yeah. Just, just put it in there. And then you can see if it drips. Just a bit on the side. So this one is not the best, but not too bad. This one is the fine one. Uh, the bigger valves is shoot. Well, it's sealed just as good as the small ones, but yeah. Sometimes it is a bit of work. I have to say the GY6 ones are way easier to lap. So yeah. yeah, this one is already really smooth. I'm just gonna, not gonna put coarse one on that. Next step is the fine one. It's a way finer paste, as you can see. You don't need much. This is kind of already a bit much for it is. But I'm 
Let's put some pieces on there. We don't need much. Yeah, it's way too much, but yeah. For illustration purposes. So yeah, just uh, do the same as you did before. You'll see. Okay, so as you can see, it's decently sealed. Almost no constant drops coming out. It's okay if it just leaks a little bit, because of the high compression in the chamber, presses the valves closed, so that will close it a bit better. Because of now I don't really have much pressure on there, so that's good. So this isn't really a perfect test, but it does indicate how bad it is, though. So rinse it off and be careful. The grinding compound you don't want it on the stem here because if that's uh, it's the surface that will grind on the aluminium in the head or bones. Uh, yeah, a sort of a bearing. Yeah, I don't know the, all the English words, but I think you know what I mean. Just don't get the grinding paste on there. That's the only tip. <laughs> and you can feel it when you put it in and won't return at all. You feel it, it's really grindy, kind of. Just clean the valve stem again. And just try again. Okay, so now I'm going to do the intake. Okay, so that was the last valve. And as you can see, I don't see any drips coming out of it. And there, a small one. But again, it's, it's a little bit, so I'm happy with that. Yeah. That's good. Okay, so now you have the head and just really clean it hard off with water because of this stuff dissolves in water. So you want to get all the grinding compound out of there. So you don't grind anything if it's working. Okay, so now they're done. And if you're gonna store them a long time, just put them in some oil and just store them. Same goes with the head. You smear a bit of oil on, oil on there, so it won't rust. So yeah, so that's the cleaning done. Okay, the valves are done. So I'm just gonna put them back in. Just add a bit of oil when you put them in. Already did that. That side. Just 
the washer that fell out. itself, the valve, and the cap, the retainer cap, all back in there. Okay, so normally you would want to just get a press again, and compress it again with this thing, but these valves, or the springs are pretty weak with this one, so I can just insert them by hand. Probably. I'm just gonna try it. Okay, so kind of one side. Okay, so now my camera is full enough for the light. Okay, so that piece just goes, the other side is under there, so you can see. Just put it on right there. Just use a small point screwdriver to put it in place. So they kind of are in place now. And just release it. further so it's just behind the legs you can see there as you can see a bit more like that not too much Most of the times they just snap in place by themselves. A lot of times, but not this time. Okay, let zoom out. Yeah, one handed is easy to do, but with the camera, it's annoying. Okay, so at least you know how it sits in there. If you look this time, what's the other one? Yeah, and my dog likes the light. like the sh sh shit out from the light so probably you're running for some more oh yeah okay that's why I can see it it's hard ain't it <laughs> okay okay so let's set it up a bit different it looks better Okay, that looks good. Then decompress it. Okay, so now it's 
tốn đã And now, as you can see, it's in there. So be sure just press the valve, of course, and check if it isn't loose. So now, it's in there. So that's one side. So I'm just gonna do the other side and then it should be done. So one minute. Okay, so both valves are in now, as you can see. Yeah, so it should be working. Let's replace the spark plug now. You see the, there's no gap at all anymore. So yeah, that's kind of how to relap or redo a head. It's not really hard to do, it's just some bit of effort of course and if they don't seal just keep grinding it as I showed it may be a lot of work and you have those suction cups I'll at the, the picture you can just put them on there and they'll suck this them themselves and they will be stuck and you can turn them so uh, yeah that's it for today so see ya